Today on Alley Picked, I'm going to do a review of this wood carving kit by Beaver Craft. So this representative from Beavercraft contacted me, asked if I wanted to do a video review of their carving tools. Look at that, that's nice and shiny. Since they offered to give me a free set, I said of course I would. So they sent me this kit. Now I've always wanted to carve a wood spoon and now I've got the opportunity. Now if you want to check out that video of me carving the spoon, come back to this point in this video later, after you watch this one, click over here and you can see how I make the spoon. But for this video, I plan to focus just on these tools. Let's open the box and examine the knives. Here's what you get for $45.95. The wrapping is a bit unusual. Looks like someone boxed them up in their kitchen with some plastic wrap. This kit has three knives, a spoon knife, a whittling knife, and a long bent gouge. The handle on the gouge knife in the middle here is a different color than the other two. And the copper collar has oxidized, which probably means that these tools have been sitting on a shelf for a while. Not a big deal, but I do like consistency. The blades are protected differently. The gouge knife has this masking tape on the cutting edge. The whittling knife or the straight knife has this plastic, which looks like shrink tubing. The hook knife is wrapped in foam. Again, not a big problem, but more inconsistencies. None of this really matters if the tools are of good quality. The handles are a little rough, so before I use these, I'm going to sand them with 220 grit sandpaper and give them a coat of shellac for protection. I don't want them slippery, so I'm not going to use polyurethane. Let's look at the sharpness of these tools. Often, when you buy a knife and it comes to sharpness, there's room for improvement. With these knives, they are very sharp. Not perfect, there is a little room for improvement, but they seem adequate and ready for use. I have this spoon blank, so I'm going to start using these tools and see how they perform and how quickly they're going to need to be resharpened. The wood is basswood. It's a softer wood, so if these tools can't keep up, we're going to have a problem. I start off using the hook knife. It's chipping away at the wood, but it's a bit jumpy and the cuts are a little jagged. Seems to me like it needs a little sharpening right out of the box. I've noticed this before with other knives and chisels. It seems to me that tool suppliers are in the manufacturing business and not the sharpening business. I switched to using this gouge much better. I noticed the difference immediately. Smoother cuts and lighter pressure. I like this one. I didn't even think I would need this gouge, but I really like it for cutting the inside shape of the spoon. Next up, the straight knife. This is nice and comfortable in my hand. It cuts well. Again, it could be a little sharper, but it works well even to get into these tighter spots. The blades will need to be sharpened as you go. Now, they're fairly sharp right out of the box and they will work, but the cuts are not as clean and precise as they would be with a good sharp knife. Now, this video is not about how to sharpen the knives. The basic sharpening method is to use some ultra fine sandpaper and a leather strop. So after finishing my first spoon using basswood and these carving tools, I'm gonna give you my opinions. Pay attention son, look at me when I'm talking to you. I'm really not a professional spoon carver. I'm speaking here from a beginner's point of view. So do I recommend them? Yes, these are good, solid, and well made. Are they sharp right out of the box? Yes and no. I found that the hook knife could be a little bit sharper. I ended up doing most of the leg work using this gouge and I used the hook knife to get into some of the tighter spots of the spoon. Is this a good beginner set? Yes, but I wish it did come with some sort of blade protectors and maybe even a pouch to store the tool. So I'm gonna have to come up with something there myself. Now Beavercraft has many other carving sets and carving knives, including a second hook knife with a larger radius that might come in handy. You can buy all of these tools and more separately on Amazon. But do your homework. If this is a hobby you're interested in, well watch more beginner tutorials on tools and techniques. But don't wait too long. Sometimes it's better to just dive right in and start swimming. Thanks for watching Alley Picked.